Audi just dropped their 2026 lineup, we got not just that, but Carlos Mercedes owning up to a big mistake. Ferrari sealing a mega deal with HP worth a jaw dropping $90 million per season, and oh, did we mention the new point system? Ferrari just struck gold with a groundbreaking deal. Rumor has it that they've linked a huge sponsorship pact with the American tech powerhouse HP. We're talking a whopping $90 million per season. So, what's the deal? Well, Ferrari is set to become Scuderia Ferrari HP officially plastering that HP logo all over their iconic F1 livery and team gear. And let's not forget the timing, just in time for the Miami Grand Prix. And the best part? It's not just about the blank, this partnership's set to propel Ferrari so high that it's leaving Red Bull's Oracle deal in the back. While Ferrari is shaking hands with HP, let's not forget the huge deal Red Bull bagged with Oracle back in 2022. A cool $300 million over five years. Now, that's what you call playing in the big leagues. But back to the Ferrari HP deal, CEO Benedetto Vigna couldn't contain his excitement, welcoming HP aboard not just for the first F1 team but also for Ferrari's F1 Academy and esports programs. Ferrari's not stopping there, they're going all out for the Miami Grand Prix, rocking a one off blue livery to celebrate their anniversary in the American market. The Ferrari HP collaboration is a huge deal in the F1 world, promising a lot of opportunities and challenges for both of them. Get ready to spot that iconic HP logo zooming past in Ferrari's F1 cars from the next race onward. But wait, there's more excitement up! Rumor has it, Audi's cooking up something big with none other than Nico Hilkenberg, snagging a spot in the anticipated 2025 lineup for kicks over. Sources are buzzing with anticipation, with only Hulkenberg's signature standing between us and the big reveal. An announcement's just around the corner, expected before the end of May, and let's not forget Hulkenberg's stellar comeback last season with Haas, showcasing his ability, especially in qualifying. Yes, Nico Hulkenberg's making waves outshining his Haas teammate Kevin Magnussen with 9 points to Magnussen's 3. With four of Haas's five points already in his pocket this season, Hulkenberg's proving why the team pinned their hopes on his seasoned expertise. And guess what? Audi's knocking on his door with a tempting three-year deal, lining him up to join with Carlos Sainz next season. Sources whisper that the deal's all but sealed, with only Hulkenberg's signature missing. While lips are sealed officially, rumors hint at a grand reveal by May's end. F1 drivers are rallying behind Hulkenberg, with none other than 2016 world champion Nico Rosberg tipping him as the perfect fit for Audi's lineup. Nico's got all the goods, heaps of experience, lightning speed, and a hunger to conquer. But here's the thing, while other top teams might be sleeping on his past performance, Audi's got the chance to swoop in and snag a golden opportunity. At least, that's what the whispers are saying. According to Ralph Schumacher, the Hinwheel team is in dire need of a revamp, especially with Valtteri Bodas and Joe Guan Yu not quite hitting the mark. Bodas? He's seen better days, while Guan Yu's still finding his groove. Audi's aiming for the stars, eyeing that sweet spot in 2026 when new car and engine regulations hit. And with Hulkenberg and Sainz at the wheel, they're ready for greatness, ready to seize every opportunity. Now let's talk about Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton is making waves at the Chinese Grand Prix only to hit a snag in Q1. James Ellison, Mercedes' technical director, highlighted a critical error that cost Hamilton a shot at Q3. Despite Mercedes shouldering the blame, Hamilton's weekend started on a high note, snagging P2 on the sprint grid thanks to some slick moves on the damn track. But fate had other plans, with Max Verstappen stealing the show and leaving Hamilton trailing in his wake. Even with Hamilton's six-time winner status at Shanghai, fate had other ideas, such as an unexpected Q1 exit. Ellison identified a moment at the hairpin where Hamilton lost crucial time, but Mercedes didn't get away scot-free. Their W5 car design faced criticism for being a bit too unpredictable. During the Mercedes Chinese Grand Prix debrief, Ellison shared his insights on the recent rule changes. The introduction of the two-park firm rules offered them a chance to tweak the car between the sprint session and the main event, which was welcomed. However, it came with its own set of challenges. Poor adjustments could lead to decreased performance as experienced during qualifying. Hamilton, in hindsight, wished he had followed George Russell's strategy of completing two-time laps in Q1 to better assess the car's performance. 
instead, Hamilton opted for a single-timed lap, which left him feeling unprepared for the changes in the car. These adjustments resulted in increased understeer and a higher risk of front brake lockups, adding to the difficulties on track. The incident during Hamilton's second timed lap was plain for all to see. Approaching the hairpin after the main straight, he lost control during braking, overshooting the corner. This blunder alone cost him a 0.7 second delay, a costly mistake that could have easily propelled him into Q3 and beyond. Hamilton owned up to his error, taking full responsibility, though the team acknowledged their role in the mishap. They admitted they should have nudged Hamilton towards a strategy more akin to George's approach, recognizing their oversight. They also acknowledged the need for a less complex car design, as the current model seemed to be causing drivers to make unusual mistakes. Despite the setback in qualifying, Hamilton salvaged a 9th place finish on Grand Prix Sunday, marking his third search result and the season's first five races. With F1 officials slated to discuss potential adjustments to the point system this Thursday, it's worth pondering how such changes could impact the 2024 championship if implemented. It's worth noting that any modifications to the points system are unlikely to take effect until 2025 at the earliest. Nevertheless, we have crunched the numbers to see who stands to benefit the most from this potential change if it were implemented today. Currently, the F1 point system rewards points to the top 10 drivers who complete the race, with an additional point awarded to the driver setting the fastest lap within that top 10. However, under the proposed plan, the top 12 drivers would receive points, and the fastest lap point would also be applicable to the additional two drivers. Presently, the scoring system operates as follows. 25, 18, 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. With the new regulations, this would change to 25, 18, 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, indicating a modification specifically from 7th place downward. Now, let's look into who would be the notable beneficiaries of this revamped point system when applied to this season. Our analysis suggests that Haas would emerge as the clear winner. Nico Hulkenberg, who has finished between 9th and 11th place on four occasions this year, would have gained an extra 8 points. Additionally, his teammate Kevin Magnussen, who achieved 12th place twice, would have earned an extra 4 points. This would significantly boost Haas's overall points tally for the season by 12, accounting to a remarkable 240% increase over their current count of 5 points. Consequently, if this system were already in place, Haas would surpass Red Bull in the standings and claim the sixth position. Anyways, there is more news coming up this week. Are you guys excited? If you are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest updates and analysis. And as always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay awesome and we will be back with another one.